Hi, this is Tim with Handyman Hertz, and today I'm going to make you a little more handy. And I've personally put in a ton of these things, so let's go. Just to refresh on electricity, you're either going to have one set of black and white wires or two sets of black and white wires come into your outlet. If you have two sets of white and black wires, one of the black wires is carrying power to the outlet, and the other one is carrying power to something downstream. The worst way to make a connection is called backstabbing, and where you just simply press this in, and you're done. Although it's still code, almost every electrician looks down upon it, and it's the cause of a lot of house fires. I've come to some houses where you can just pull them out of the back. Every outlet or receptacle has a strip gauge that tells you how far you need to strip your wire. Now take your favorite wire cutters, and I mark a, a Sharpie on my 14 gauge, since I use it all the time, and just strip your wire. Now you need to make either a shepherd's hook or a J hook. And to do that, you just grab it at the very end and twist around. Black wire goes to gold screws always. You always want to go on the left side. That way when you tighten the screw, it tightens your loop and it doesn't want to back out. Now to tighten the screw, you can use a Phillips or you can level up and get an ECX bit. This is specially designed for the outlet. And you're going to want to get it really snug and that's where this bit comes in because you could get some good torque on it. This is how you want it to look. You don't want any copper wire showing on the top or on the sides. You also don't want any insulation up touching the screw. And you don't want your bare wire sticking out down very far. This is about where you want it. I always try to shoot for this little tab right here for my insulation. Let's do that one more time. So you want to get your length to strip. Or you could set your guide and level up your stripping game. I use pliers, but you can also use this to make your hook. So it takes a little practice getting the right hook, but what I would do is just start with some spare wire and just make a bunch of hooks so you're not fighting it when you're doing your outlet. I always shoot for the bottom of my hook to be just above my insulation. You also want this to be as small as you can because all it needs to do is fit over that screw stud. Now we install it on our screw, silver screw for the common, and tighten it up. nice and tight. And don't forget about your ground. If you're not using both sets of screws, go ahead and screw in these extras. This will be hot, so if it touches on a metallic box or a ground or any other thing, it'll short out and it's just good practice. Before I get to my teaser, if I've added some value to your life, if you could add some value to my life by subscribing and hitting the like button, that would really help me out. And you can support the channel by clicking on any of the Amazon links in the description below. Quick story time. Most of my houses that I work on are really old and have really short wires to work with. I was installing a GFC outlet that's designed to be backwired and it saved me a ton of time and headache. And I thought, how terrific was that? No more J hooks. So I researched and found that if you upgrade to a commercial outlet, it too offers the backwiring capabilities. Now, what is a backwire? Backwires are not to be confused with backstabbing. The wire has so much more surface area that makes contact. Plus, you screw it tight rather than relying on a spring mechanism. Sure, it costs a dollar more, but what's your time and frustration worth on a Saturday? Plus, it's way easier for beginners than making J hooks and trying to wrap it around the screw. To change your outlet, you're gonna to have to know which breaker it is. You can use a non-contact voltage tester if you'd like, but it's best to use something plugged in. If you're by yourself, you can use an alarm clock to know when you get the right breaker. Now we know for sure that it's off. Now take off the outlet cover, and then the top and bottom outlet screw, and then pull out your outlet. Before you remove these screws, make sure that the wires don't get mixed up. So I always take off the top and put it up here and then take off the bottom and put it down here and same with the blacks. Here's a pro tip for you. These wires are really hard to get out. They're very snug. So go ahead and just keep unscrewing this screw and take the screws out. Another pro tip, take out your bit and use a power tool. Take off your ground. Now 
Now the other side. So because we're using the back wire method, we need to just straighten out our J hooks and make sure they're the right length. This strip gauge is right here, so it needs to be the width of the black. So that's a perfect length right there. Another tip for you is to start with the ground. And it's best to use a screwdriver so you can feel how tight you're getting your connections. Curl them down. Now put your outlet back on, and when you do, make sure the screw is up and down. That's one of my pet peeves. Now turn your power back on, and that's it. Now go out and build your skills and your confidence, and I'll see you in the next video.